things matter. Um, when things are going really well for us, whether on the mat or off the mat, sometimes our line starts to drift from the fundamentals. So listen to what I'm saying, the fundamentals matter. If you think you've got a master, that's a bad problem. If you think you've got a master, just keep doing it. We have the fundamentals, Kyle Steiner, Miles Barr, Pete Thomas, Ella, Paul George, some of the guys we've got doing the cat. We do this every day. We do this every single day in Ohio State. Stand. Stand. You can have your stance and stay there. Don't come out. Do not come out of your stance. And here's the question. Where you are right now, are you powerful? Do you feel powerful? Because if you feel in any way that you're not powerful, we got to get you in a position of power. And you've got to stay there. Your hips have got to go meet yourself. You can't be leaning to one side or the other. Oh, I've been wrestling five years. I know, I know it's that. Stay down no matter how much your legs start burning. Again, you stay down. So it doesn't matter how long you wrestle. We have guys that come into our program three times, four times, state champs, junior national champs. We all start them the same way, the fundamentals. Because if you climb levels, as you climb levels, as you climb levels, every single time you break position, someone really good is going to be on your legs trying to score them. So, we're not leaning. Look, I don't want to see this. Look, I don't want to see you lean to the right or lean to the left. I want you to think about, I'm going to ram into you right now. I'm going to ram into you full speed, and behind you is a 100-foot drop. Behind you is a 100-foot drop, and I'm coming full speed at you. What position would you be in? Now, you've also got some stances, one thing. Shoulders over the knees, knees over the toes. Look, if your toe is sticking out there like this, this is the problem. If my toe is past my knee, it's going to be a problem. Right? A guy with a good low single is going to attack your leg, and you won't be able to engage your hips when you need to. So make sure that your knees are past your toes, or at least in line with them. All right? So your knees are always, when you move, when you move, your knees stay over your toes. Okay? Your head, look, it never turns. I never want to be, look, I, I have an opening here. See, my head is turned to the right. I'm leaning too heavy to the right. Head stays right in the middle. I want you to take your hands and put them behind your back. I want you to think that only your forehead can stop an attack. When we use our arms, sometimes we use them and we reach, our hips come up, and our legs are easier to get to. So no hands. Pretend you have no hands, and you've got to keep somebody off your legs. All right, so look up. Hands behind your back. You're going to move the direction I move my hand. I'll say, I'll say left, I'll say right. You're sliding your feet. You're sliding your feet. Now look, notice, there's none of this. There's none of this. Every time I come up, he's coming out. My head has a bumper on it, and the bumper stays in the way. I move left. I'm, I'm on the balls of my feet. My knees stay over my toes. And I endure the discomfort. I endure it. You're going to be uncomfortable. You're not used to it. So here we go. So everyone's facing straight on this way. All right, here we go. Ready? Left. Right. Left. Right. I don't care if your legs are burning. Stay down. Right. Left. Right. Keep going till you hear the words. Right. Let's do what I'm saying. Focus. Left. Right. Right. Stay 